All right, all right, all right. So if you guys don't notice, it's just me right now. Adam will be here shortly. Audio check. Need some blueberry pancakes. Can anybody confirm? We didn't play the intro, but I will explain why. Just check in the chat. Pancakes? Pancakes! Alright, so. Adam is back there with Miss Lisa. We'll be back shortly. I've got to set up one more thing. We're running a little behind here. The, uh, the giveaway for North Mississippi Vapors. I've actually got to create that scene real quick. So, one second. Oh! It's already there. So I've got the names in the generator, and we'll be drawing for that. I'm not exactly sure what Adam's giving away there, but I know tonight we're going to go over and do some up close on the Leviathan. And uh, Adam's going to just like the all-in-one everything RDA. It's pretty damn cool. So... Oh, it's like four RDAs in one. So, what are you guys doing tonight? What are you vaping? What do you got going on? What kind of juice you guys working on tonight? Me personally, I've got VCMT, Boss 3000, and my new one will be ready hopefully tomorrow. Uh, juice is Cinnaboy, and Adam tell you what he's got when he gets back. So, what do you guys have? Glad to see you guys. You know, see we got we got Cool Dad, we got Zombro, Mr. Felter Snatch, Boss 3000, and a Kennedy. Pretty good little setup there. You guys are gonna have to overlook me tonight. <clears throat> I've got my box of Kleenex. I am uh, four days into a, the end of a summer cold that my wife gave me. I was running 103 fever the day before yesterday. Been pretty fucking miserable. But, uh, decided to soldier on, do the video tonight. Adam, where the hell are you? I'm dying in here. So we got the lady boss. Oh, Christina has something different. She has the boss tonight. She does not have the hexo. Yeah, my, my wife, she, uh, my wife likes the eyeliner. I don't know. I'm not going to bitch. I think it's all right. Uh, I love my, my boy Yoshi. He called it guy liner. What up? And he has made it. <sighs> Adam has made it. Now it looks smaller than you. Hey, Adam, is there a place Uh, negatory. Got that little grab chair. Stool. Ms. Lisa hey, gonna join us tonight? Oh, God. She's gonna grab a comfortable chair. Let's see if this forced perspective thing works again. Yeah, I'll move the, back. I'll get up here. Hold on. Just get close. No, I mean, still work on that side. Still work on this side? Yeah. So, now I'm a hobbit. Small Jamie. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> tiny me, and Adam is, is big Adam. Anyway, what's going on tonight, y'all? Let's Here see what are. everybody's talking about. Well, we oh, about thank God. I was worried Adam right? was going to show up with eyeliner. I'm going on butt cheek liner. Yeah, you know, you know Yoshi. That later, cool dad. My buddy Yoshi, who makes the Mason and the Vaporgate line, he called it guy liner. So, that was pretty neat. Yoshi, he always has eyeliner on. What's up, Becca? How you doing? Good Lord. Just what happened? a hole in the wall, I'm pretty sure. Did you hit break the wall? Uh, no. The wall's fine. Okay. What? Is that... What? A Stella? No. Okay. Anyway, sorry, people. We what are you vaping them. tonight? I didn't tell them what I'm I'm vaping on. A, I'm actually vaping a couple things, so let me run down the list here. I'm working with a Boss 3000, the uh, the Ula one. I actually sold the Tiger one yesterday. Yeah. Um, actually, Nikki picked it up, believe it or not. So, Mr. Small was like... I like it. Just I mean, on, get on, keep easing in. By the way, this back. is my chair. Yeah, we got Do you remember? Yeah. This was my Mother's Day yeah. gift. I was still in school. For all, all you guys that don't know, oh, sorry. come here, we, we, uh, we have a birthday girl. Say happy birthday to Lisa. Happy so, birthday, Lisa. It's happy birthday, Lisa Day. <laughs> so anyway, back to what I'm vaping on. What are you vaping on? Uh, the shit, Sasha. From the bloodline. Well, share about your with, tank. This is what's gonna blow your mind. Oh, people. oh, look, you guys. Here, hold my wine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is it? That rednecks? How does it go? Here, hold my beer. Yeah. Lisa's okay, here. Hold right. my wine. So, just last night, you guys. I'm sorry, Mr. Ziggins, y'all. Adam, get, oh, don't don't say it. There's letters. 
T F R T A. T A. <laughs> From smoke or smock. Or smock. We Depending don't know. on who you are. She finally got into a I happen, I happen to be the proud owner of that, and I've never take, had one vape off of it. Well, let me tell you. Well, it, there's a nine in here. <laughs> let me tell you guys, Adam put this in here. I've always used uh, that Lotus. Ran it at like 570. Zephyrus, that's what kind of better tanks. 445. He put this on here. Did I tell a whole you whole different ball game. Something that wicks, man, on temperature yep. control. She's been using the Lotus, which does really well on wattage and does all right oh on temp God. control. But if you want to go up like 480, 500 on the Lotus, it just doesn't wick fast enough. Oh. So put it out. Okay. Yeah. Get, her a, <laughs> get her a loose wick RTA. And uh, she was like 500 is a little too damn yeah. much for this thing. I'll tell you guys, Miss Lisa is like super thunder lungs. The only person I've ever meet, met who can do like 150 watts with a 12 and something that wicks and actually pulls some air through. <laughs> anyway, you like, like Queen though? Thunder Lung. Thank you. And she's, yes, she's got a nickel build on it. She's only running at 445 now. Like I said, that's the great thing about temp control. It gets all really wicks. So lower temperature really put out the vapor. And if you want to go up in temperature, up around the 500, she gets pretty crazy. Um, anyway, so what am I vaping on? Like I said, Boss 3000. And check this little puppy out. I'll show you all this a little bit later. But it's the Leviathan ODA. Leviathan, Leviathan, I'm not sure. Um, pretty simple build here, running on wattage, um, big four millimeter clappings. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to take a up close look at the live by, uh, love by a fan, love by a fan, um, here in just a little while. You get the focus ready there? Yeah, I'm, trying, right here, to this, yeah, <laughs> but I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to get to see it. I hear you. Anyway, hey, so yes, this is. This is one of the caps for the Leviathan. I'm going to show you another. It actually comes with different caps, different tops, different yep. bases, it's different like, posts. It's like four RDAs um, in one, right? And it's this, like I'm actually everything. running the, the two posts set up right now. I'll say, I guess, a, a big four millimeter Clapton's in here. Uh, this is 32 on 26. Now our can't off. Um, i got plenty of water to push can't off. I know some of the other people out there really like Nichrome. I still am not a hater of can't off. Um, and then for second thing, um, actually, using Jim's box tonight for Camelot. He left them here till this weekend. This is going to be, they're going to give one of these away at Vaporize Hasburg next weekend for like their grand championship cloud comp. There's something, something different about that particular Godfather over the, over oh, the, the other one, Father. Modfather. We're going to talk about the Modfather a little bit tonight, too. Um, a bunch of us here at the shop had stainless ones. Yep. Um, and they were leaky. One. Horrible. Yeah, it's stuffed with cotton. Uh, got a black one yesterday. Very lightly wicked. Yeah. I can't get it to leak. Wicks That's, like a son of a bitch, doesn't leak. And like that, that stainless one that I had, it was so fucking bad. I mean, it, I couldn't, like, you know. I'm convinced you, there's something we're missing on the stainless one. There's a ring what, missing, there's a crack in the glass. As soon as you peeked something. over this right here, it's like it created a reverse vacuum yeah. and everything just Not sure, man. sucked right Anyway, we're going to take a look at the Mod Father in a little while. Um, I'm going to pull this apart just kind of show everybody. I hadn't seen them before. Excellent tank, excellent design. Um, well, I say, it's it very some leaking issues. It just but, um, was leaking for me. And I'm waiting to get a whisk my whisker tip. And I got Mississippi in, in all this tonight. I'm just kind of being... What tip would you, know you say? The whisker tip, Mike Whisker. Um, lives over in oh, Alabama. Oh, is that what Frenchie was talking about? Yeah, he's, uh, he's actually... Frenchie's getting a glow in the dark. D I saw yeah, that. Yeah, he's pretty dope, that. man. Hey, what's going um, on with James's uh, boss? James... Uh, Belano. Belano? Belano? Okay, yeah, just kind of a trippy little boss issue. He sent it to me, you know, said the switch wasn't working in it. Yes, sir. So the switch was working, I vaped on it, and then I called him back, called him a retard. <laughs> and then about two hours later, did it to me. There and so go. the board was just, I don't know, had some glitch in it, talked to Evolve about it. Just one of those random problems. You know, and I asked you about this, and, you know, for folks who was wondering, I was asking you what, about what the fail rate was on, on the DNA 200 chips. About 2 to 3%. Yep, that's pretty damn good. Yeah, it's not bad it's, at all. And the best thing with Evolve is, and that's why, I'm, honestly, why I'm able to stand behind the boxes. Just Ronnie talked about it last week on the show. The, the way, the reason we're able to stand behind the, any of the Evolve chip lifetime warranty with DNA 200 is because when I called Nick at Evolve, I said, hey, I had a problem with the chip, question about it. On James's box, cool dad on here on the chat. Do you need a chip? Send it back. We'll ship one out right now. Man, that's, 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 that's what you know, I ship yeah, yesterday. Exactly. Okay. So. I absolutely believe that. You know, it, I, I know Brandon, I, I've known him for a long time. Back when they was making the kick, if you remember the kick, that yep. was like his first product. And he uh, then he made the DNA 30 and then the DNA 40. Believe it or not, I've still got a few kicks. Yeah. I've Do still really? got some on my toolbox back here. I, I've got one at the house that doesn't work anymore. You know, I guess at some point they... I've got the badass version, man, that does 15 watts. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. The kick version, yeah. too. The, uh, but, and actually, I remember back in VaporCon, I think 2012, or maybe it was Vape Bash 2013, Brandon was coming out with the DNA 30. 
and he actually encased one in a in, a, in an acrylic 22 millimeter tube to make it as an add-on to any 22 millimeter just any 22 millimeter mod to turn it into a DNA 30. Y'all, I'm sorry. No, I, so I, what I, are you doing? No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, yeah, plenty. No, you're fine. Sure. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> he, he encased one in a 22 millimeter acrylic tube, and it just went on any mechanical mod and turned it into a DNA 30 mod. It was a, it was a pretty cool little thing. So I mean, I just know those people, really good people, and uh, and absolutely, I, I know they stand behind their product. Yeah. So. And I saw so Matt Jenkins just posted right there, and I'll be honest with y'all about something. Nobody likes just dragging their faults out on the table. I can tell you all this right now. I don't know what it is about Wyoming. I don't know what <laughs> it is about the I weather. I already Wyoming. know what you're going to say. I already know what you're going to say. Fucking I dude, I cannot send a box to Wyoming that doesn't have an issue. I have no issues with any other state in this country, but it seems like every box I send to Wyoming has some issue, and it's always random. It's chill. It's a board. It's, it's just, you fucking name it, man. I don't know what it is about Wyoming. And that'd be a good guy to ask if I stand behind my products. <laughs> how how you, many have you sent to Wyoming that went bad? Uh, Matt's actually twice. The first time was kind of a little thing that probably shouldn't happen. Um, so twice so far, and I've only sold a few mods up there, though, so my percentage rate in Wyoming is pretty shitty, man. Yeah, there's four <laughs> out there. Four all yeah. there. Yeah, and percentages, I'm doing pretty terrible. And numbers, yep. not that bad. Percentages, pretty much getting tore up on that one. In Mississippi, I'm running like 0%. Yep. <laughs> well, any updates on, on the uh, the bosses, the, you know, kind of pending orders? And I know a uh, little bit of a little I'm bit down of to being seven there. behind right now. So um, I know Mike Vapes got his today. It'll be coming out for review. I'm actually waiting on Daryl Shergan. Uh, yeah, I was to wondering when Daryl's going to do his review. Pretty I'm soon. He told me the other night he was editing it. So I, I think if you have watched any of Daryl's reviews, they're usually extremely in depth. So I, I wonder what Daryl would, would think if you did to him during his review what you did to me during mine. Oh, Remember, just kind of sit down on the couch behind, down him. behind me. Not he was even, sitting there 15 minutes before I even If I knew his address, if you get funny. there, yeah, I'd definitely do it to him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Daryl will be letting it out and Mike Vapes. So, uh, Mike Vapes hope, is huge yeah, channel. Either, either, be, either or. Our company will be bankrupt or yeah, we'll have or, some orders on the table. Yeah, I don't know which one yet. We'll have to see what they both think about yeah, them. Daryl's kind of gave me his opinion a little bit. I feel like it'll be a positive review. Um with Mike, I don't know. I mean, he's only he's seen Daryl's. He got his I, I end believe today. if Mike and Daryl both give it a good review, you know, Daryl's around ten thousand subscribers, but Mike's like way up. Yeah, he's a hundred thousand or something. Yeah, if if Mike gives it a good review, I'm gonna tell you, I think at that point you're probably gonna have to hire some help because it, it Mike has the potential to make a product. Well, but, yeah, that's why we outsourced a few things, you know. And I'll I'll go ahead and let this cat out yep. back a little bit. Um, kitty, actually, kitty, kitty, kitty. where I've been getting battery cells, wiring them, and, and doing all that, uh, I've outsourced to an American company yep. that assembles cells in America, American-made batteries, and uh, they're going to let out who it is right now, but um, I'll be getting the first round, the bulk round of batteries from them. They shipped out today, so I'm thinking Thursday-ish, I should have those in, and we'll see how they work out, but I think everybody's going to be happy about the change. I'm sick of getting the questions about yeah. the cells and everything. Well, you know, I, I wanted to bring this up when you, you talked about local businesses and support and other businesses businesses in the u.s um uh, like the other day i was talking to adam about potentially getting a milling machine um because i'm working on a wood box we're working on a, a hybrid stabilized wood box and the milling cost is pretty pretty expensive i mean it's it's pretty ridiculous how much it costs to mill those boxes and so i thought you know in like five boxes we could probably pay for a milling machine but Adam, Adam made a good point. Tell, tell, tell him what you kind of told me and what your philosophy was on that. Well, in two different ways. Me and Jamie discussed this at length. Um, one thing is, let's say we make a product and it goes huge like the Boss House. Boss mm -hmm. 3000 went a lot bigger than I ever thought it would. And I thought, I thought it would make three or four a week, you know, and that's, we, we, we did that the first day, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, so one thing is you, you saddle yourself up with more work. You have uh -huh. to handle in-house. Number two is... Um, you don't really put money out in the community. I mean, right. you put it in your pocket, but, but where does that really go? When you buy that milling machine, does it put money into Pontotoc County, Mississippi? Not at all. Um, not that everybody watching the show is concerned about Pontotoc County, Mississippi, but think about your own What's hometown. Home? Right. Yeah, so my kind of thing is all the work that we can have done here, all the business we can put in this community, if we can get a box milled out for $100 where we can do it for ourselves and say we had $80 in it, including mm -hmm. our labor costs and everything, I don't mind suffering that twenty dollars. You know what I mean? Um, because I think it does our community good. It puts people to work, and this is one of the big things that's going on right now with all of these advocacy groups. Is we talk about vaping is mainly small business in towns. Um, 
so as I was telling Jamie, I think you'll admit yeah, this. Absolutely. I think I think it's I think it's the right thing to do to be a responsible small business and, yeah. and work with a small business mind and let other small businesses have a part of this industry. And I always say for any of you that are watching that make anything, plan on making anything, have a shop, make juice, whatever, um, you know it only gives us and and this is a kind of a different angle of it, it only gives us more political power. Yeah. When more small businesses, people that don't vape, they have nothing to do with it. Take Will Van Gorder, for instance. He's just he's a hell of a machinist. Mm -hmm. Been a tool and dial maker for years. He's got a shop here. And, and um, how much load did he take off of you doing now that he's doing the milling work? He's he's took me from being able to make thirty boxes a week to be able to make fifty or sixty there boxes a week. So um and you know, he's got a small business. He doesn't vape. He yeah. didn't care anything about vaping for this. I can guarantee you he Will cares about he cares about vaping right now. He you does. know what I mean? Um, and, and that's important, man. Anytime we get the rest of the community involved in this business, that's what we need to do. Um, I, I don't think the right idea is always going out to China. Yeah. I think there's going to be situations where you have to to control cost, unfortunately. It's just the way the world works right now. It's unfortunate. But you know, things like getting, I'll give you a good example, these boxes getting die cast. You know, these are boxes that a, a few people use. I right. use them. Ryan yeah. uses them. There's a few small town people even use these. Um, but to have these die cast in America, you're going to run the price of the box up 80 or $90. And okay. if somebody really want to pay 350 for this box? Uh, but other than that die cast box, there's, everything there's in else. there is um, done made in America. The batteries currently are not. I get these sales from China. Okay. By this time next week, that will not right, be true. Right. Everything else will be sourced from America. And looking for somebody who uh, who can potentially do the die cast on the boxes. Uh, yeah, I've got no issue here. going to, if we, if we get an American die caster or even a machinist that can mill the boxes, which it, it would be difficult to machine the box to keep the price down. But if we can find a die caster here, I'm definitely interested in that. So yeah. then you'll have the box made in the USA, the chips made in the USA, all of the, all the electronics and the components and batteries as of next week made in the USA. A and there, there's mill. always going to be small things, you know, like a MyTech switch. Hard to find an American switch maker right. out there that makes that kind of quantity and make a uh, switch for But 95% plus of that box by, by very shortly will be a made in America. Exactly. I mean, look at, look at Evolve as a company. Um, look at, you know, well, where like we get our engraving done right here, right next door, where we get our machining now done is right down the road here in Pontotoc County. Not even um, down the road, you guys. Yeah, it's literally, literally steps. Yeah, like, literally like walk right, right over there. here next door, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, just found out yesterday that he oh, can do ball mill engraving as well. So oh. now we can do, you know, solid brass by yeah, just a uh, ball mill engraver would actually cut in the box. So oh, he's going to okay. start working with us on that. Um, so there's a lot of different options out there, man. Yeah. A lot of different options, a lot of cool things. So I always say, though, anytime in, in any aspect of this, if we can get the community involved that wouldn't be involved. Yeah. I, I think we're supporting our cause. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And there's just a lot of facets there that I feel like are the right thing to do. And no matter what, yeah, I agree. yes, and no matter what, whether it's China, Pontotoc, he literally, he physically makes these by hand. Have you, you ever? Know, you know, we should you do one day. We should I've actually take the camera right now I, and let, let folks see that. That would be awesome. You guys I'll need tell you to what, see. we'll do the show next week from back there. Next you know what? That's Your cell phone does such a great That's broadcast a great anyway. Absolutely. He sits in this next room, you guys. It's pretty unbelievable. Yeah. But anyway, I wanted to tell folks something new. You know, we uh, I got to working with some new software today when we do the uh, the, the vector images that, that Adam engraves on has engraved on the box. And we've actually come up with a new method of doing the engravings that allow us to do a lot more realistic stuff. Talk about that a little bit, James. Um, this is pretty. I knew nothing about this before about five hours ago. I'll try to, I'll try to pull up the file yeah, one. Cool but somebody was warning. I think Mike, Michael Zombro was warning a. Uh, let me find this here. Was warning the cover of. What was the name of that? It was uh, Metallica's. Oh, uh, Master of Puppets. Master of Puppets. He was wanting the cover of Master of Puppets on a box. It didn't show up there. <laughs> and it and it crossed my mind to try to figure out a way that maybe it would look better than the way we had been doing it. And so I started working with a new piece of software called Corel Draw. And with that, let me show you guys the result. I'm gonna come over here to this. Where's my scene changer? Where do we go here? Where's that? So that is the cover for Master of Puppets. Master of Puppets. And what it does is it just uses, it's just one color. It's black and white, 
but is the series of dots that creates the illusion of shading. And through that, we have, like I said, come up with a way to do a lot more realistic stuff on yep. boxes. So we're really excited for the opportunities that's going to afford in, uh, in bringing some different kind of stuff to, uh, so, to, yeah, to we're, the boxes. We're going to take a test play over to Chad in the morning and see how it yep. turns out. But I, I don't see any reason it wouldn't yep. do amazing because of the detail of dots is not... It's not anything more detailed than we've been doing. Yeah, it's, you know ju it's just a single, single black, small dots, that uh, and, and and the dots create that illusion of shadow and shading. So, I, I'm really excited. I actually did one of my of my own face to see how that would turn out. It turned out really, really well, and so I think when we continue to tinker with it, I think I might be able to get to photorealism on these boxes. I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited about this. So yeah, that's my uh, little uh, little thing about the bosses. So what do you want to talk about now? I'll tell you what, man. We might go we up are here and talk about the Leviathan RDA. Um, Can you pull the camera down? Here, you? Yes. So, hey, you guys, not y'all, Mr. Ziggins. I have to go switch hats, put my mother hat on. Um, our girls gave me the nicest um, birthday present today. Yep. It was, it was, it, it was a real heartwarming party. You could tell there was a lot of love in the room. Absolutely, there was. <clears throat> I'm unworthy. Yep. Well, Miss Lacey, you're wonderful. We love you. Happy birthday. See you later. He gets more love than I do. Bye, guys. Oh, yeah. Um, there we go. What? What, oh. what do you mean, what? Uh, what? I'm lost. Okay. Hello, so baby. how do you want to do this? Do you want to pull the camera yeah, down? Yeah, I'm going to pull the camera or? down and let you focus. So, guys, like we talked about up front, we're going to talk about the Leviathan or Leviathan. Leviathan, I'm not sure. Pronounce however I want to, Leviathan. That's how I pronounce it. So we're going to take a look at this thing. Um, so the trick thing about it is, let me just say this up front, um, and this does come from Lotus. Everybody knows by now I'm a big Lotus distributor. I hadn't picked up any of their RDAs to date because I'll just be honest with you. Lotus is blowing like me away. They're, like they're, the last RDA they made, if y'all remember, was the Cartel, yeah. which was great for its time, yeah. but those days are long over just with. Just how Lotus is stepping um, up their game every single Yeah, when they told me they were coming out with an RDA, I was kind of like, I'm sure it's going to be just a, a kind of a starter RDA. When they told me the price, and I didn't get to see the RDA before I saw the price at fifty six ninety nine retail, I was like, I don't know about this. Yeah. When I actually got to see the RDA, the pictures of it, I got it in my hand. I was like, oh, blown the fuck away that well, you were getting this I mean, for you know, bucks. I, if you tried to compare it to something like the Alliance, which had a fuck ton of feature, right? I mean, it's got three different air, air configurations. It's got two different top air configurations. It's got a base. You know, it's along the lines of, it's like, you know, I think the Leviathan is kind of like the Alliance V2, but but a little bit better. And that RDA was 50 bucks, so it's kind of right there in that same price category. Yeah, so anyway, I've got a new one in here, good deal. So I'll show the yep. whole package. I'm not we're going to give this one away. Keep vaping on mine, yeah. So we're actually going to give one away. Um, oh, we'll yeah. talk about how to win it after we do the up close. I don't know how we'll love you too, that. baby. Jamie's going to come up with an idea while I talk about this the up close. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay, good deal. You're going to scoot over. Let me get oh, the camera mean, here. Okay, right. guys, we're going to flip it down on the table here real quick. Let me get down on the focus. We got our autofocus here. Might have to zoom in a little bit. Tilt us around. There we go. How's that looking, everybody? Not too bad. So, package, uh, pretty much what you expect from Lotus. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, a uh, big company. Always comes in a nice package. Let y'all see the back real quick. Um, yada yada yada. It's 24 millimeter deck size. It's actually a little. It's, it's actually 25 millimeters outside. So let me say this: 24 millimeter deck, uh, 304 construction. Goes into some things we're gonna look at in the box. There's really not much point in me telling you about it. Um, you can like and follow them on Facebook, but wouldn't you rather like and follow Vaporize Nomads? Build your beast, and we're gonna talk about why they say build your beast on here right now, Jamie. So let's check it out. Um, I'm actually going to show up close now. I've got mine right here. So I'll kind of show you all the two-post deck up close. Ooh, that kind of bleached out, didn't it? Right. You got me here? Okay. So this is a two-post deck. You kind of see it's a, it's, a, it's a fairly simple deck. There's not anything crazy going on here. It's velocity style. Uh -huh. um, just got a, a pretty standard juice well and all. It looks like it's about, say, four millimeters, three millimeters deep. I'll say that much. Uh, plus, when you put your cap on, you get a little extra room. Right. Um, I've actually got the tight cap on here. You know, I like tighter air draw, Jamie. Well, it's always better when it's tighter. I hear you. It's got the nice little insignia on the side right here. I'm hoping y'all can see that all right. A lot I could of glare. focus if you could. Well, it's a lot of glare going on here is the problem. Anyway, and a nice big chuff cap. 
So let's get in the box real quick. That's the one that's built. Let's look at one that's not. If I can get it out. Good God, these things are tight. So there you go. Now we're going to look at the other sleeve that's with it. Um, when I showed you all that one just a second ago, it had this sleeve on it right here with the smaller air holes. Right. Um, very adjustable. It is set up for dual coil only. It's, it doesn't have the single slot. I don't know that anybody does that anymore. Right. I don't even know that people run a lot of single coils anymore. I know you used to, and I kind of got it's, out of that. It's it's only people who run single coils now are doing like these big, huge, crazy, like uh, fused, clapped and staggered, stapled. Yeah, it's crazy. Know, astronomical shit. Yeah. shit. Because you can't fit two of those usually in a set. So anyway, if you want serious airflow, that's free breathing. This this is unreal. Honestly, uh, for this one, I don't particularly like this one because i don't like that style of vaping too much unless i'm just trying to blow massive clouds the cool thing is but you, you can tighten it up yeah you can tighten it up if you actually cross the holes like that that's actually a pretty good draw like that but yeah. you have to keep it completely shut so why not just run the other one and get what you want but now there's another advantage to this hole uh, hole there's another <laughs> advantage to this air this particular one in that the air the air is spread out wider exactly right? it spreads out wider so, so you if you do still, want to, right. exactly you want to build a big alien or yep. stable clapton something like what you're talking a about big deck to deck yeah. coil exactly. then you have air across exactly. that whole thing this where the other one will get to so uh so y'all seen these sleeves pretty self-explanatory at this point now um, let's take a look right. at the deck real quick Com compare those two where we talked about the full kind so of you'll see kind of just that's right what Jamie's talking about right there. Spreading the whole deck. Now, I'll give you all a good example. Something like what I've got on here right now. If you'll see how tight I've got those clap, those are big clap, those are on four millimeter, but they're right. packed real tight together. So, see from the side, that works really well for my setup. If right. I was running something wider, obviously, I'd probably want to use a different cap right. and squeeze it off like we were talking about. Let's take a look at the deck real quick because this is where things start to get a little out of the norm here. Um, you'll see it's got the two posts set up in it right now. And you'll see two extra little holes right there beside that positive post. Uh -huh. This is a cool thing about this one. A lot of people love the velocity style deck. I'm one of those people. Yeah. A lot of people still love the four post. I'm also one of those people. And Jamie can tell you all this. A lot of RDAs I run, I still run my four post on. I really like a four post design. Yeah, not my thing. So, anyway. You can change out the posts. Exactly. So what you do... I've actually got them mixed up here. Let me grab the other one real quick. <laughs> I got the damn things mixed up while I was playing with the box earlier. Uh oh. Sorry, guys. Give me just a second. I got these there two posts. Is. Here's the two T post. Take this one out because it's already in there. Sorry, I've been playing with stuff too much today. So, what you get here is a center post. That's a little T post. You basically take the screw out of the bottom replace that with your center post and what you get is a negative post and that's what those two little holes were for you actually get another ground post out here with the screws and everything making it a four post where you've actually got two holes on each of the grounds uh -huh. and you've got your two in the middle so you can get pretty carried away with what you can build in here if you want to build them on 45s you want to build them straight across it's, it's you, like I, you know when i first saw it i called it the everything rda because it literally can be set up like just about any other rda that's kind of out there right now I'll talk about this real quick they've got a at first i didn't really understand why they had this extension right here and it made sense to me after just a, a minute of looking at it um, let me put this now, on. Now, the Alliance together. had this too. The Alliance had this kind of st step up deck. So, two things. One, they claim it works as an insulator. Uh -huh. I guess we're running like massive wattage on something that, that needs that kind of. You know what I mean? Yeah. You want to get away from your box. That's cool. Right. The other thing is, if you'll notice the machined edge of it right here, gives it a match look also. It This actually nicks down a 22 millimeter on the outside. Now, the reason for that, the LE80. Uh -huh. The jellyfish. Uh -huh. um, a lot of those products uh -huh. have a 22 millimeter recess well right. that a 24 or 25 millimeter tank RDA won't screw down in. Okay. This so makes sense to where you can use it with all the Lotus products or right. any other product that has a 22 millimeter shallow well on it. And it so actually how, many, fits how down wide it. is the? Is it actually is it 23, 24? What is it? It's necking down to 22 millimeters. Yeah, what? just this little from 25. From 25. Exactly. Okay. So externally. It's a 24 millimeter build deck, 25 millimeter outer shell, and then you get this 22 millimeter inset right here, which it might be glaring that y'all can't see that, but that, that bottom diameter is 22 millimeters, so it'll actually work on everything that Lotus makes, which makes sense, because had they not done that, you would have a product that you couldn't use on some of the Lotus boxes. Right. Um, I like it. The last thing I guess I'll show you is the 
the top cap. So you got a, a couple options here. One, you can pull the chuff and use an insulator Maybe for a standard 510. Yeah. Or you can pull the whole cap. Let's say somebody that doesn't run a hell of a lot of wattage, doesn't get a lot of heat sink. Uh -huh. um, or just like a smaller 510, like me, Mike Zombro, asshole. You can just run just pure metal. Stuff. Yeah, so you can get a, you can get a pretty crazy just straight metal setup. Something that looks like this right here. I think probably with the 510, you probably wouldn't run the sleeve on it because you wouldn't need that much airflow because you couldn't get that much airflow through a down standard 510. So right. you would probably end up with something that looked kind of like that, like this. I don't want to say you couldn't. I just don't think it makes sense. So no. that is a pretty damn dope look right there, if you ask me. Um, but anyway, I, I don't run the extension on mine. I, I like the RDA being shorter like that. I actually like that it's a little bit shorter. Um, and y'all know that. If you remember the Junior Nomad, it's actually a lot shorter than this. But Junior Nomad was really yeah, small. Yeah, I just I really like a I, I like a short 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 short. Anyway, I'll put all this back together later. This one right here will be the one that we will give away at some point. Well, Jamie will tell you how you're going to win that. I don't know what he's come up with because he hadn't told me shit while well, I've been, been talking. I've been paying attention and trying to participate. Anyway, so let me put all this yet. stuff back in here so you know you're getting all your crap with it. Even every little thing. This is one thing Good Lotus is good about. I'll say with their stuff is they always give you a lot of extra down parts because everybody loses screws. And they're just like us and they know that. So anyway, good let's put it back up, up here. Okay, give me just a second. Shut up. Well, that was a lot. Oh, good? We gotta zoom back. What's up? What's up? Zoom. It's right up in my crotch. Well, show Christina your package. She said she missed it earlier. You what? She missed my package? Yeah, she, when you stood up earlier, Christina said, Oh, I missed the package. Adam and his dick print on his jeans. <laughs> I mean, it's, oh. it's almost embarrassing in public because he's just like, huh, Look, where is it? Is. There it is. We're, do we're at the flea market. Adam just like kicked back. <laughs> I'm just like, damn, Adam, we're in public. That's how we advertise products, man. <laughs> Let's see what kind of products I'm trying to sell. <laughs> the other day when you was trying to take that perfect dick print picture of the balls <laughs> of the market, it was, it was absolutely epic. So that was the Leviathan. Did we get I, any I, questions at all? No, I just definitely loved it, liked it, see that it's worth it. No, but not really any questions. Um, but I have a question for you. I got to whisper to you, though. Oh, do you even know? Uh huh. Okay. So, to win this. Wait, um, are we doing a win right now, or do you post it underneath the video for a chance to win? I say the first person who uh, who calls it out in chat, probably. I like you, that. I like, like that. that. All right. So whoever posts first, um, that day this shop opened. First person to say it in chat would be the one that we send this Leviathan to. Not the grand opening, mind you. No, the, the actual day, open. the first day the doors were open. What if nobody gets it? Oh, somebody will get it. Absolutely somebody will get it. Okay. So, that's the Leviathan. We talked about the boss updates. We talked about... Huh. I'm out of stuff. February 2nd. Wrong. Nope. Oh, right there. Cool, Dad. Damn. How Good job, James. Did you get that? Yep, James threw it out there. Okay, like James, hell. we're actually going to, I'll tell you what, we're going to Skype with his ass next week, man. I just want to know how he comes up with his fucking information so yep. fast. James, if you can cool dad, whatever you want to be called, man, um, why don't you plan on Skyping with us next yep. week, dude? He does a little show. He can talk about his show. Um, yep. And then bring some material because we're on a show to talk about, man. Hell, um, we could take a Skype call if somebody wanted to call, though. Yeah, absolutely. Uh yeah, maybe next week we'll set up for it. Well, cool. What else we got? Anything anything upcoming? Anything going on? Any new juice lines coming around? Any events going on? No, uh, we got the cloud comp this Saturday. Yeah. What um, are we going to be giving away? Because, you know, where I got cheated last time, I'm going to fucking win this one. Yeah, everybody's well, I told, I'm not going to exclude anybody from this. Told all no, 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 no,
Tammy, you're late, honey. Tammy, you're late. You were a day off and late. January 7th. January 7th. What do we give it away? What do we give it away? No, 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 not today. What are we giving away at the uh, car comp? Oh, actually look on the banner. Jim Sharon's doing all the giveaways, doing a huge giveaway on juice. And there's not just first price, second, third. I mean, a lot of, lot of stuff there. Uh, we're going to do a $5 entry fee. Mm -hmm. We're going to give out MSVAA. Mm -hmm. So bring that in. Oh, that's something we can talk about real quick. Um, Any updates for them? Yeah. They're doing a lot of good, man. Yeah. They're doing a lot of good. And, and the reason I say they're doing a lot of good is because they're not doing a lot of shit. Right. They're not trying to start they're not, a plot. Yeah, they're not out acting like retards like a lot of these advocacy groups are. Um, they're working behind the scenes. They're talking to people. And when I say people, I mean representatives yep. at a one-on-one -on -one level where you can have a, a conversation without having a bunch of people there that don't necessarily have a, a smart opinion. Yeah. Um, and, and not that their opinion is less valuable, but they're just sometimes you don't necessarily want help when you're talking to somebody. You know what I mean? I think that I think it's great that our local our local senator Nikki Browning, that his son is a friend, patron, friend of the shop, here very very regularly, yep. and uh, you know like Nikki, I know he's proud that his son doesn't smoke anymore, and so you know having somebody you know, like that you know, a friend a of the shop, ways, absolutely like a friend of the shop. Is, I wouldn't say absolutely. Nikki's necessarily a friend of the shop. I think he's going to do what's right for his constituents. Well, this goes back to what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, you're going to do right for what's right for your constituents. Um, well, I'm, I'm just what I mean is just a patron of this shop. His oh, yeah. dad being a senator and seeing the positive sides of vaping, I think that's really, really oh, cool. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You have that absolutely. Lot of areas. But like I said, there's a lot that ties in together right there, man. A lot yeah. that ties in together. And like I said, it goes back to the point we were talking about earlier um, with, with bringing other local businesses into a business they wouldn't ordinarily be a part of. Um, I can tell you this, just like the, the trophy shop next door yeah. um, that does all our engraving. Look, we're not paying all their bills. We're yeah. not their only source of income. Oh, but I can guarantee you that Chad and our Lisa don't mind the money we give them each yeah, week absolutely. to do these boxes, you know. So um, just be aware. If you buy a box from us, $20 of it goes next door to the trophy yeah. shop um, to engrave that box and do these badass engravings that Chad has just become. Actually, do the focus on this. I, I don't know if everybody's seen just the, the level of detail this dude is. I mean, from the first boxes that we did till now, and now we got to see phenomenally Dot difference, man. The Dot Matrix thing oh, yeah. is going to be It's going to just keep amazing. moving and going, man. Um, and Chad does he, he does clean work. It's just like Will or Will, you know, Van Gordon. Fellow doing the milling. I'll tell you why I brought him on. He's a proud man. Absolutely. He is proud of his work. He you is. know what I mean? He's a man that's been he's been doing this. He's been machining for twenty years, and I'll just be straight with y'all. He's a better machinist than I am by far. Um, I do enough machining to be able to do what I need to do. Yep. I understand that enough. That's not my trade. You understand yep. what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a pipe fitter, pipe welder. That's my trade. His trade is tool and die and machine making. When we need something on a box, there's nothing to figure out. We just tell Will, this is what we want, and that yep. shit happens. Absolutely. Um, and oh, I, 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 you know, when I sat there while he's working on the uh, on the wood the wood box that, that we're not going to show. Um, you know, just the level of precision and the, uh, you know, the attention to detail was just absolutely amazing. And so, you know, and also seeing the load that it took off of you and bringing on another local business, a uh, Pontotoc-based business to, to bring forward the boss. Great stuff. So, yeah, we got something else we got to do, don't we? We got to give, uh, draw a name. Yeah, okay, if you're on northeast Mississippi, um... The, See, the vaping group. This, this is uh, Dana Gann's group. She started it. Okay. Um, anyway, if you're on there, had a little uh, drive to get some some people on the page. Um, got a few people on there, and there's some people that added a lot of people to the page. And I will say this: the people are going to be in this drawing. A few of them added multiple people, 10, 20 people. Yep. Um, having said that, so this is what we're giving away. We're giving away. I don't remember exactly how many bottles of voluptuous juice. I want to say it was ten, to be honest with you. Some cotton candy, and something else that I forget. Well, I don't know. I'm throwing a bottle of canal. I had to go back and look at it. Okay, and a bottle of canal. Um, so anyway, we're going to draw for it. It's going to be a hell of a lot of juice. Though. I think it was like 300 some odd mils of juice. Lots of juice. Uh, cotton candy. Um, you do have to pick this up in person, though. This was a northeast Mississippi right, it's not regional a ship deal. Thing. Yeah, so come pick it up. I will say this. If somebody out of the area happens to win it, if you know somebody local, you can transfer it to them and they can come pick it up. But this is a local deal to, to get with northeast Mississippi vapors. 
and try to get them on board and get each, you know get people meeting each other. Do you want to draw two names just in case, like we did the I'll last time? I tell you time? what, let's see what the first name comes up to. So Jamie's gonna go up here to randomizer. All right, we'll uh, over there. First name on. Actually, you know what? No, hold on just a second. We're gonna do just uh we're gonna do since January seventh. We're gonna do okay. seventh name on the list wins. Okay. Seventh from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for January seventh from the okay. question. I like that. Well, that's just as random because yeah. we didn't think about that. We're, we're going to swap it up a little so bit. So we're not, not actually going to draw a name. We're going to. That was pure. Uh, yeah, we'll just randomness. tie it all back together. So let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Sebastian Ahmed. Armit. 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 I think we can find him real quick, dude. Uh -huh. I'm mistaken. He's a local guy. I will look him up real quick. Well, I'm going to draw a name just in case we can. Okay, write it down over there because I'll forget it. You know and, if, and Mike Jones won if uh, if we can't get in touch with Sebastian. So I always know we can get in touch with Mike. He's my wife's boss. Okay, Mike, you're runner up. Um, you're runner up if this fella, uh, we can't get in touch with him. Yeah, I'll find him right here, dude. Well, and guys, in case you didn't notice, we didn't play the intro today. There's a reason for that. We have been battling this for 17 episodes now. Every week when we post a live show on Adam's channel, on my channel, we uh, we immediately have a, a, a challenge or a copyright thing that they throw up against the uh, flag on it. Some the Orchard Music is who throws this flag up. Now, the music that we got was all got from a royalty-free site. Um, so it was royalty-free music. And... Uh, Finally, sometime today, they actually sent us a clip where they showed where they own the music. So, in the future, if any of you guys do any kind of content creation or anything like that, even though we bought it, that was even though we bought it, because we used what we did, we used a creator. I used a creator online. Yeah. I bought the platform that it was. It wasn't cheap. I yep. bought the platform to use it. I bought their plugins. Yep. And what do you know? Those bastards music. stole music from somebody else, and now. I'm going to have to pay for it. Yeah, I mean, I didn't pay for it. Intro. I went back and snatched all the intros out of her shit. But it sucks that I paid for it, but they didn't yeah. pay for it. So I never really paid for it. Absolutely. So uh, we got ripped off. Yep. So we're going to have to redo the intro this week. And uh, we'll have that again back on next week. So we, uh, we messaged Sebastian. He lives in Columbus, Mississippi. Not That's too a far away. Well, I'm sure. I'm he needs sure to visit the shop anyway. Yeah, anyway. Um, It'd be worth visiting the shop for 15 bottles of juice. Yeah, no shit. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I got tonight. What time is it, man? We, 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 we haven't talked about the Mod Father at all. Oh, the Mod Father. That's right. So, let's talk about the Black Mod Father. Give me my I'm, damn I'm, Mod. How my the bad, hell did you... My bad, my bad, my bad. Kick your ass. It's a great vape if it didn't leak. And it that one leak don't at leak. All. When you say how much cotton I got here, it's going to blow your mind. I mean, I, fl I had so much fucking cotton in there to stop it from leaking, and I couldn't get it to stop leaking. Let's take a look. Let's get up close. I forgot. Long Give me that zoom, back. man. I got you on the zoom. Okay, this thing is full of juice. I'm going to be a little careful with it, but... Um, ain't no zoom. Oh, you want some zoom? Yeah, too? give all the zoom, man. There we go. Okay, pull it back here. Spin it around. Mod Father, I'm sure y'all are familiar with this by now. So, start off with, how did I come in possession of my first Mod Father? Well, that would be compliments to Mr. David Starshadow, the gun ply master, play master. I'm not sure about that. Play master? Uh -huh. Play master? Anyway, beautiful tank. He got me my first one, and out of just a random shipment, got number 218, which is what I collect. February 18th, I've always collected MCV mods of 218, and even my own mods. You'll always notice that 218 never shows up on the market. There is a reason for that. Usually the first one I make is number 218. So there you go. Instead of a prototype, I usually have number 218. <laughs> Having said that, so Ronnie Everett, who was on last week, hooked me up with the black. You probably can't see that. I don't know. Closer, oh, yeah, closer, closer. Number 218, of which I've scarred the bottom up, screwed so it on. So somehow you so managed models. to get a matching pair, a black and a stainless serial 218. Yeah. That's serial number seeking, like, level 100. And the crazy part of that was, I think you were sitting in here with me when we were talking to Ronnie. Uh -huh. I said, if you got box number 218, he opened one box, he set it aside, he opened the next box. The next box he opened was number 218. He's like, son of a bitch, it's right here. So... 
let's take a look at this real quick for those of y'all don't know this thing's got a pretty seriously huge build deck in it so this is the bottom the way this thing wicks is of course i've got it upside down right now it actually wicks down through comes into these holes right here and up under the build deck to funnel in um, airflow actually comes from the side like in a regular rda it doesn't come kind of under and up uh -huh. let's pull this deck it's so neat how the airflow works or how the juice flow works okay it's so unique so let's look at this deck you see how much cotton I got in there? Not a whole lot, Hardly man. any cotton, show me. So if y'all see, this is a, sorry, I should have probably cleaned this up. But anyway. I can't get it, there it is. I've got cotton laid on the bottom, but got clear holes underneath, it's not packed down in there now or anything. Now on the stainless one, I, that 218 stainless, the brother to this, I guess, I would. I had probably four times the cotton in the base oh, of that to keep there, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced there's gotta be a seal missing that thing, I'm gonna take it apart, because after I've used this one, I see that it does not leak at all. I'm convinced that one had a problem. Anyway, beautiful build deck. They're actually making a postage deck for this one now. Ronnie had them in stock yesterday. Nice. Um, I don't know there's something I'm really super interested in right now i've never been a i'm not not that i'm not a fan of postless decks i'm yeah. just really like the velocity style so you mean like moonshot style deck uh no i mean it's literally a flat deck okay. postless so you stick the wires down it juice. nope okay. um it looks just like this on it's totally postless two holes screw from the side um y'all can check those out on my modder page if you want to um ronnie's got them posted up he may have a few i don't know i know he had some yesterday you but had an interesting theory about why another reason why that one may not leak the well that's the only thing i could think that was different because was because I, I it's coated i expected the, i inspected the o-rings I, I looked through that thing top to bottom and tried to find why it was leaking and could not find the anything. the only reason i could come up with is because this one is coated and I realize that the coating is not very thick, which you brought up earlier. It's very thin. Having said that, I don't know that that's not just enough to seal threads off better than a damn thing. And it very well could be. I will say, the one thing I have never liked about these Mod Fathers is the tip that comes with them. I, I don't know if they're just trying to get you to buy a different one well, from, from an aftermarket company, but I hate this tip. And I they got that new tip coming hate out. hate it. Um, so, what is it? Crescent Moon makes some? Um, sorry, shit. Keep forgetting you can't just flip screens. We're gonna actually do this like this. Sorry, y'all. We're gonna get another camera one of these oh. days. We've actually got another camera, but it doesn't quite do right because they're both the same camera and yep. it, it gets confused. We have a confused computer here. But anyway, this one right here, phenomenal, dude. Yeah. I think you've been watching me. I've been vaping yeah, on some bit since I got it, dude. I can't put it down. I fucking probably my favorite rebuildable. The other I'd one, say it, I didn't it, like so much. It, along with the tornado, are, are capable of the highest wattage vaping oh, because yeah, of how good. efficient the juice flow is. Yeah, they've got. I mean, y'all, y'all saw how big those clappings were on there. Uh, they're running at almost 0 0.6, 0 uh -huh. 0.57 ohms, uh -huh. which is high by any means in today's standards. Um, 100 watts, 110. And honestly, on a 0 0.6 build, 110 watts is. But a I bet lot you could crank voltage. that up to 200 and it would still wick. Oh, and no that doubt, thing man. Wicks yeah, 100, so 100, 100, 100, 110 is a good, tasty vape with the Mississippi. As James Blano, the cool dad, says, it's smooth. But, you know, I mean, it's the kind of it's the kind of Addy, along with the Tornado, and even, like, the uh, the uh, the Heracles. It's kind of the, uh, it, it's it's an RDA that you can go to a competition with. Like, oh, there's no fucking doubt you know, like about I it. came to that there's competition no and, 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 and placed second in both both outlaw and in uh, you know just standard standard rule ones. Finished second, even though I think I won one of them. But I want to show them one other thing. Try that wide open airflow. Jamie likes a really really open airflow. Well, that's wide open right there. Just you can try it there. I mean, it's good flavor. Don't do that. You're gonna burn. Me. <laughs> but that's plenty of airflow. Is my point, right? That was 170 watts. Yeah, I would never run the airflow all the way open on this thing. This is too damn loose. Still wigging pretty well. It's hot. Yeah, I imagine it Turn it down. But yeah, it's uh, 170 watts and still running. Still wicking. Keeping up fun. It's just well, an amazing tank. Like I won't lie to you, man. I want to show them that thing on that other tank. Yeah, this is weird. I'm still Go convinced something got in there. I'm not. <laughs> So anyway, what Jamie's about to show y'all is something I don't really currently understand. He was vaping on a juice that a lot of people vape on here, don't have a problem with, that I know of. It's called Cinnaboys. Um, he's about to show you, though, something that's in the chimney and the actual mouthpiece on it that's really weird. 
It doesn't look to me like it's juiced right. Jamie feels like it is. going to look at it right now. Um, you just got to see this. It's one of the oddest things I think I've ever seen. It, it's, it's very, very odd. So I'm not gonna say what juice it is because I don't want I don't want to think it's the fault of the juice. I already told them. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. So I've been using this Heracles a lot. I really, really oh, love yeah, this RTA. It's been fucking ridiculous. You this is married. the one that I got second in both those competitions on. So I had this juice in it and I was vaping it, vaping it, enjoying it, and I sat it down. I changed tanks a lot, but I just sat it on my nightstand, just sit it there. Um like I do every other thing that I've got. Let it sit there for a day and a half. Didn't pick it back up. And then I picked it picked it up. It was still sitting right where I left it. So there's, there was no way that like it fell over or you know, anything like weird could have happened. I'm convinced the cat's shooting. There's no way. <laughs> and so uh, you want to try to focus? Or you crazy. show it, I'll focus it. Okay, so, so I, I, I went to take a pull off of it. Unscrew the cap and show them in here. Showing the cap and down the chimney. And actually, wait. Be able to get light on this. Let me see if I can there get we focus go. On. That's perfect. We can get it focused. I got the light, light right in. here. So I went to take a pull off of it, and this stuff is all the way in the mouthpiece, down the chimney. And now it was a little spitty when I was vaping it, and that's kind of why I sat it down because it was like I said, it was a little spitty. Okay, here's the odd thing. Now hang on, let me. Okay. Go but ahead, when go I when I when I went to take a pull off of it. One of these little particles got in my mouth, and it tasted like an extremely heavily concentrated bit of cinnamon. Now, Cinnaboy is, of course, a cinnamon vape, but it's not actually on the coil. So, you yeah, know, I'm not, wondering, and I, I really can't almost. quite figure it out. It's like where it was spitting it, kind of, kind of a bit spitty. Where it got so there's the chamber where the juice got trapped up in the mouthpiece and, and trapped up in that sleeve. Or, and this is actually cotton right here on the bottom, just to clarify. So. I'm, I squeeze that out, but it's just really, really odd. It's, I've never yeah. seen anything like that build up in a chimney. And that happened over the course of, of maybe 36 hours. So, I, you know, I'm going to try to do a little like research. I'm about to say, do an strange. experiment, man. Use that juice. I'll give you a bottle if you ain't got one. Because I want to see you use this, clean this out. Well, that's what, I got, back that's what I got right here. That's what I'm still vaping. What, what do you got in there? I mean, I've got it? this. Is there anything the going juice? on with that one? Well, well I just filled it up with the same juice when that happened. Okay. Because I wanted to show that before I cleaned it. Clean this one out, yeah, and use it. Use the same one. I want to use. I want yeah. you to use the same one. Well, yeah, and that's what I'm and thinking. The same is where, wattage. Where it was a little spitty, and the juice got trapped up in the mouthpiece and got trapped in the little chimney there. I'm wondering what if something happened that caused it to, I don't know, solidify. Or it was just fucking weird. There you go. Never seen anything like it before. Are shut, okay? so Never seen anything like it before. I don't know if, if you guys have. I'd love to hear back from you. But I'm gonna do a little research on this. Uh, something extremely strange with this Addy has happened, and I love this Addy, so I hope I can get this figured out. I'm not gonna say it's the Addy. I don't think it's the Addy. I just. I, I'm, I'm kind of. It's definitely not the Addy. I'm not man. I mean, every, there's plenty of people around here using hair. I. I I would never believe that was Adam. I would, issue. I know. James just asked that I use a different cotton. I did use a different cotton. I, I'm a cotton candy fan, but this particular thing I used uh, uh, cotton bacon. Huh. First time I've ever used that cotton. Uh, only time I've ever used that cotton. Uh, I, I don't know where that would cause this, but yeah, I mean it's a pretty well known brand. But it was like I said, it was when it, when a piece got. Yeah, it doesn't appear that it came off the cotton either. Yeah. I'll say that. I'd, I'd say if it's anything, it's going to be some buildup from the juice, but I it tasted don't like know. a chunk of cinnamon. So I don't know. If you guys know or have any ideas, we're going to research and come back on that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to see if uh, our winner Sebastian hit me back here. He has not yet has been delivered. Um, he's a delivery driver. He might be out delivering stuff. So. Just we'll get it figured out. If we don't hear from him in 72 hours, Mike Jones will pass it on down. Yep, yep. I'm sure he'll answer, Mike. Well. 8.56, man. Can't do four more minutes. I can I'm do, messing with I you. I'll do four more minutes. Oh, yeah. Anyway, guys, more. always a pleasure. Hey, appreciate all y'all that uh, wish that Lisa a happy look? birthday today. Um, she had a pretty good birthday. Yeah. Um, a lot of love in this room during yeah. that. She, she's, really great. she's a good woman, man. Y'all support her. I'll just always say this. I'd say this about anybody, not about Lisa. Um, you never know what your fellow man is going through. That's you, right. You never know what somebody else is hurting with. You, know, you never know what somebody else is struggling with. And um, 
you know, I, I hadn't always believed that. Yeah. But Lisa's the one that taught me that. Yeah. You know, six, seven years ago when I met her, she's the one that taught me to, you know, realize that you may not know it. They might not tell you, but your fellow man's struggling with something you don't know about. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there, there's people that may have things going on that you couldn't understand, that you can't relate to, that are some of the most painful things in the world. I'll just Absolutely. leave you with that. But y'all just know that all the little kind words, the happy birthdays, when, when you text Lisa, when you, when you make a video making fun of her about Tippy, um, all these little things brighten her day and, 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 and helps her as a person. And, it does. And she's a wonderful woman and a very caring and giving. She's not a fake person that comes out and says, well, I really care about that person, really care. She's not like that at all. Believe it. She doesn't care about you, she will let you fucking know. <laughs> See, I'll send your love out to Lisa. It's, uh, it's definitely appreciated. And, uh, Appreciate each and every one of you watching. Absolutely. Always a fun time here. So anyway. glad you guys come and see us every week. And next week, I don't know what we're going to do, but we'll plan it a little better. Let's try to get some callers or a special guest or something. Good, we did pretty good on winging it. Showed, man. I think that Leviathan was a shit. I man. think we winged it pretty well. I mean, yeah. I'm not complaining. Well, cheers. James Blano, we'll get your Leviathan out to you. It's like me and JC always say. Hey, peace, peace out, out, nomads. nomads. Button, button, who's got the button?